a lot of people who are heavily into this life have they're aware of a certain seeming apparent contradiction in regards to people whose blood is at a really high clean level versus those who is not and the contradiction is in the following if a really clean person goes to Southeast Asia or India or whatnot and eats mangoes off the trees and gets apparent parasites, the bugs will enter into the body. They will realize that there's not enough waste to feed them and they will harmlessly leave in a day or two. Whereas if a cesspool, which is we know is the term for a normal person, lovingly, non-judgmentally, if a cesspool goes to India and gets a bug because the body is so full of waste the foreign entity can ravage the system and make it deathly ill. On the other hand, so the point being that a strong body can take a foreign element and deal with it much better. But on the other hand, we have the apparent contradiction of if a person is very clean and into this stuff, if they take so much as an aspirin, they can create internal bleeding. If they smell strong cologne, it can make them sick. If they walk into a lobby where the floor is freshly polyurethane, it can make them sick. If they smell cigarette smoke or anything, air freshener makes me sick as hell. So there's a contradiction that why in the one case with the parasite, the bug can get into the system, but because the system's so clean, the bug leaves voluntarily, whereas the normal people, the normal folks that polyuridane your lobby floor, they're not choking and getting sick. They're totally fine. People that are around perfume and Lysol spray and all different types of air fresheners and cigarette smoke, most people are fine. They don't get sick. Well, the contradiction isn't a contradiction. The answer is that since the chemicals in question, polyurethane, Ajax, the aroma from perfume, are fake, they're synthetic, they're artificial, they're not real, the mucus lining that the normal person has built up in his or her system, which is so thick and lined from years of bad eating, the mucus lining in that particular case, because the chemical is foreign and artificial, acts as an ally to the individual because it catches the chemical before it gets into the body. So they can sit around polyurethaning a floor and sniffing perfume and cigarette smoke and be fit as a fiddle because it's not really getting into their soft tissue. But for somebody who lives the life, the soft tissue is exposed, it's open. So when the chemical gets taken in, the person feels like they're going to die. That's a different scenario than a natural bacteria or parasite entering the body, which is a natural occurrence. A clean body is built to get rid of it because it can't feed. The parasite can't feed in a clean body. So it will ravage the toxic person and be just a little pain in the neck to the clean one. But cigarette smoke and chemical smell will ravage the clean person because there's not enough of a mucus lining to catch the toxicity. And the irony of that is, turn in the back, that it really shows a symmetry in nature. That if you make the choice, like 98% of the population does, to live in an artificial world, if you make that choice to live in an artificial world, then the artificial things in the world will not harm you. Because you're part of that untruth. You're part of that artificiality. So your body almost doesn't recognize the harm of it, even though, in, in fact, it still is harming you. You just can't tell. But a clean body dealing with a fake artificial chemical is in a lot of trouble. Now, the reverse I believe to be true, and we can't say this publicly, but this is what we believe. The reverse is true, that any naturally occurring bacteria or bug or whatnot, more than likely in a seriously clean body, is of little or no consequence. It's of little or no consequence. And all the nonsense that the modern cesspool lives with,
Of all wash your hands, that thing got touched, cleaned the toilet seat, the guy just on it had hepatitis, this one had diphtheria, wash your hands, put on a white suit with a helmet, you know that whole germ warfare head? It's all horse shit. Because if your body is clean and open and in a natural state, the naturally occurring bacteria is not going to harm you. You're not going to get sick by stepping on a bug on a safari. You're not going to get sick if you sit in a seat and there's some kind of bacteria on it. That's for cesspools. You see? You are going to get sick if you're walking through a city that gets attacked by Agent Orange or some foreign military chemical. You'll, get, you'll feel worse than the normal person because you don't have a mucus lining. So the natural kind of little demons that people worry about in a clean body are of little or no harm, whereas the artificial chemicals in the clean body are of great damage. I can't walk into a bathroom that's sprayed with Lysol. It gets me ill. I can't go near a sink that's been cleaned with Comet, the, the sink cleaner. It gets me sick. Perfume, cologne, deodorant smell, polyurethane floors, Murphy's oil, all these different chemicals that most mosquito repellent as a class gets me sick as shit because the mucus lining is so thick. But the many, many times I've traveled to Southeast Asia, not one, I've eaten fruits with the skins on them for days in a row and been fine. Probably because the parasite enters, realizes there's not enough to feed it and leaves. So the, what appears to be a contradiction is actually not a contradiction. There's a great symmetry between the artificiality of chemicals and the artificial person's ability to deal with it.